Hi guys, welcome to Mrs. K's way of using tables and graphs to represent linear equations. Today we're going to be doing three steps to graph linear equations. The first is to use the linear equation to create an xy table of values. Uh, then we're going to use that xy table of values for number two so we can find at least three ordered pairs in xy form. And last, we are going to then use those ordered pairs to plot points on a coordinate plane and connect each point to find all possible solutions. So the first thing we need to do is to use the linear equation to create an xy table of values. So we have a linear equation right here, 5x is equal to y, and we're going to use that to help us create an xy table of values. Now we need to remember here that our x is our independent variable and our y is our dependent variable. Since y depends on all the values of x, that is how we are going to create the table. So if we see a table like right here, we know that we're going to be taking our x, oops, our x, our independent variable, and we are going to be multiplying it by 5 to get our output, which is our y. So whatever we do, we're going to put our x values here, multiply them by 5 here to get our y here. So I'm going to put putting all my x values in green and my y values in blue. So I can come up with, let's just say, 5 x values. How about 1, 2, 3, 4? And I'm going to take all of these x values and we can multiply it by 5 since that's what's happening in our linear equation. So we can rewrite this as 0 times 5, 1 times 5, 2 times 5, and of course the same for 3 and 4. We are taking our independent variable x coming up with the different values and multiplying it by our constant which is 5 and that will allow us to get our y values of 0, 5, 10, 15, and 20. Now, even though we have this written out as a three-part table, there is another way we can view the table, which is not vertically, but it is horizontally. So I'm showing you right here that this is another way that we can see our different tables where we still have our x, our independent variable, and our y dependent variable, and we're able to see that our x times 5 is equal to 0, 1 times 5 equals 5, and the same going down. Now we have our x, y tab table of values. Now for the second part of the steps to graphing, we now want to take this table of values we have and we're going to find at least three order pairs. Now I want to remind you that the word at least means three or more. So throughout this unit we are going to have you guys find three or more different points to be able to graph. So if I look at my different points, I know that my ordered pairs are in x comma y form. So I'm going to be rewriting it just the same way for each of my different points. So I could be making five different parentheses with a comma, kind of looks a little bit like a face. And now I can just go and write all my x values which come first and then my y values. So because it was 0 for my x, my matching y will be 0. For 1, it is going to be 5. For 2, it was a y value of 10, and so on. So now we have our five different points. 